Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. It's Jason Sam Kovac. Today we're going to talk about replacing your serving on your string. So if the serving on your string gets pretty wore out, um, you can basically cut it off. All you do is you're going to have a spot on there this high where you started or finished. You take a razor blade and you just cut it until it pops and then you can unravel it. That's the easy part. I'm going to show you how to reserve it. Now I've done this in other string videos as well too, but this is a recap and just some of the details. What I do when I'm serving a bow string is I put on a square so that I can find where my center is. And I put a mark at my center spot right here. I got a little red Sharpie marker and I put a mark right there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go, I like my servings at about seven and a half inches. I put them about two and a half inches above that center is where I put another red mark right here. So I put a mark there. That gives me room for my arrow to be there and have still have my fingers on there, has that extra room. So I go two and a half up, and I go down to seven and a half down here and I put another mark. That seven and a half down there gives me enough room that when I shoot, I'm that that I'm not if I'm hitting my arm guard or anything by chance, it's still hitting the serving. It's not actually hitting the actual string. So it works good for me. So that's just kind of what I do. You can make it bigger, spread it, you can do whatever you want. But I use seven and a half inches and I go two and a half inches above center is where I start. Now, you want a serving tool. Okay, serving tools are good. Um, now what I'm doing with this, and I serve mine pretty tight, tighter than what most people do. Um, but what you do to start this, now here Tina, where it's where you're going to want to zoom in pretty close to here. I need to, I'm left handed, so that means that when I shoot my bow, I am rolling this way, okay? That's the natural tendency as I draw my bow to tighten it is going to be to roll the string this way, like this. So I want to serve that way so when I'm drawing the bow, I'm actually tightening it. If I were to serve this way, I could be loosening it. So I want to go around that way so that I'm tightening it as I go because I'm left handed. So knowing that I want to go around that way into the string, I'm going to just loop this over once and set it right here. Okay, I'm setting it just right on my first red mark. And I want to go around this way. So I'm going to go around it a time or two. The goal is to get on this side of my string I'm holding. I want to be over there because I want to serve down. But so it takes a couple of loops here to get yourself started, to get going over that. And then you got to kind of hold it tight because you're going to fight as it wants to spin around the string. It's a little bit of a hassle here to get it kind of started upright. But once you get it going, and I start on that side, and I'm pulling good pressure on this to keep it there so it stays. And now, once I'm there, I'm spinning. Now notice, I still have all this tag end out here. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. But I want to overwrap that tag end a few times, which is going to be like this, which you're going to see here in just a second. So I'm going around, I don't know, six, eight, five, ten times, something like that. Now, if you look there, you can see, I'll actually shine this light on there, might make it a little better. You can see where I have overwrapped. There's where I started. I've overwrapped it, and I'm actually over that string piece. Now, let me tone this down a touch because we're doing this here uh, old school with no fancy lights. Tina's running the camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that string off. So I'm going to pull, actually get out my knife here because I've overlapped this enough times already. I'm going to take this string right here and since it's already been under there, I'm going to kind of cut it about right here like so. And then I'm going to keep over wrapping it and let it just get buried underneath the actual serving in there. And it's going to be just fine. So that's the plan now is I'm going to keep going around just like this. Hang on. And I have buried that tail end is now underneath there. Completely under there and completely gone. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve this all the way down to my other mark that's down here. And when I hit that spot, I'm going to show you how to finish this off. But I'm just going to keep wrapping it all the way down to there and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so now as you can see, I've taken it this whole length. That's what I want. That's my whole seven and a half inches of serving. Now we've hit here. What do we do? Well, remember, I'm going around this way, so I've been turning that string. So sometimes you might have to backtrack a little bit if it's tight or not. I had it pretty good. I already did that. But now, how do we finish this? What do we do to finish this knot off? You saw how we did the front one where we overwrapped over that piece that was under there. We're going to do the same thing here, but it's done in kind of a tricky fashion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down. You can see I serve mine pretty tight, but I'm going to get a little slack on this thing like this. Just going to hold it. And I'm going to cut that. When you cut it, don't cut too low on here that your thread goes back into your fingers, pain in the butt to bring out of the serving tool. So leave yourself some slack. But I got enough thread here, serving here, 
that I can do this. So I want to keep this taunt on this side. You can zoom in on here, T, but I want this end kept tight because that's where I'm at. Now, since I'm serving around the string this way, going this way around, I need to set up my back loops as I call them. So when I'm so what I'm doing is I'm laying it over this way on this end, and I'm going to feed it through the middle around this way. So as I wrap this one around, it unravels from the opposite end. See how I'm coming through like this, coming up through and over, going back in. I'll see if I can grab it here like this and coming over and doing this. And I'm going to do this four, five, six, eight times. I usually try to do about eight times probably. Again, it just depends on what you, you know, I mean, as long as you did it probably four or five times, you're probably all right. But I know that, uh, you know, I can pull it through five, six, eight of them. So I'm not worried and go a few more. So you'll put a few loops on here, but you want to leave this long enough that you have slack to pull this, okay? Some people will actually wrap a pencil or something in here like that to make it work. So now that I have that there, I'm laying it across. This is important. So now I have this crossed over my main piece right here, and I am going to serve this around, okay? So I'm going to let that lay there out of the way. Keeping tension on this main one here, I'm going to keep wrapping over. But as I'm doing this wrap here, this is unwinding all of these loose ones. So I keep wrapping, keeping it tight. Pulling on it and wrapping it around just like this and keep it going until all of these loops are gone. Wrapping over, wrapping over. Can you see it good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Wrapping over. I got one more to do. Wrapping over. Now I have a solid loop right there. I got all those are covered. Now if you look, you can see right here the tail end is sticking out of here underneath all those wraps and I have this big loop. Now I'm going to take my finger in here and I'm going to pull this. See how it's tightening that loop up and pulling it through the back side of this? That's what I want. Just like that. Pull it good and tight. Get it? Pull it tight. And then I have that now done. I'm going to take my knife here and I'm going to cut that right there like that. Then I'm going to take a lighter and I'm going to fray that, burn that right off. Zoop. And then mash it right down. Find the front one if any is sticking out right there. And I'm just going to sizzle that down like that. That is how you reserve a bowstring. Then I just put my knock piece right on there and I am all good to go. But that's it. That's how that serving is done and that's how you tie off the end of it. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more stuff soon. We'll talk to you later. All right, bye.